Hello everyone, welcome once again to Investing with the Difference. So today again we are going to focus on what's happening in EOS and today we are starting something new which is the DAP focus uh, series. So this is going to be the first uh, DAP we are going to go into detail and we'll do an interview. Uh, so first of all, let me explain you what it's all about. So you must have heard about Horus Pay. Uh, so this is a decentralized payroll system. Uh, and I think most of you got the airdrop you if you were on Genesis uh, snapshot and uh, it's already trading on a lot of exchanges. So you must have seen this and uh, we are going to talk a lot about it. But what I want to also focus on is the kind of token economics they are bringing in. Uh, I believe we did a video. We showed you that you can stake your Horus Pay and uh, you can actually earn rewards which is called eCash and that is the eCash system which was introduced by Horus Pay. So let us, uh, without wasting any further time, let's uh, bring Jareb online and uh, he's the founder of Horus Pay and he's really doing a lot of cool stuff in EOS world. So welcome Jareb to the show. Thank you so much. Uh, love to be on the show, love the channel. I'm happy to be here with you and, and to provide some details about Horse Pay, about our token economics. Um, looking, looking forward to answer some questions. Sure. So I think, uh, yeah, Jerry, I think it's uh, really great to have like uh, such great use cases. Maybe you can start with explaining uh, what got you uh, this idea of using blockchain for something like payroll. So I, I, I was working as a payroll specialist doing payroll in um, about eight countries. And then um, I'm struggling with the middleman. Um, the middleman is strangulating communications. Um, it's not providing any value to a relationship. And then um, is uh, triangulating data where we would send data and the data would not arrive accurately to the payroll vendor um, or the middleman would uh, transmit another message that wasn't what we transmitted um, to, to their vendors and things wouldn't be okay and right and things like that. So um, I always knew that um, blockchain would be the solution to eliminate the, middle, the middleman in payroll mm -hmm. and payroll was a perfect fit for blockchain. Um, it's just like I was complaining all the time why nobody is doing anything. So I... You know, I stopped complaining and I was like, if nobody's going to do it, I'm going to do it. So, yeah, that's, that's you know, um, that's how I, um, uh, that's how Horse Pay, you know, came about. I uh, quit my job um, on the corporate world and then I jump in um, to, to start maturing my project. And, and that's, this is Horse Pay now. No, that's great. I think uh, this is exactly, I think everybody is looking forward to in the sense really solving real world problems. Um, so I think it's great to hear that you are passionate about something and you have the industry knowledge uh, coming from that background and seeing the problems uh, firsthand and then trying to solve it. Uh, I think uh, we we are very excited about these projects and this is what we love about EOS community because uh, we have people who are really coming in for solving problems. So, uh, and so let me ask you why EOS, like why you chose the platform uh, and did you try on any other platform before coming to EOS? Um, no, I, I was lucky enough to discover EOS in the early days. So um, I knew that I wanted to do something on EOS um, and then I, I was, I fell in love with, um, the speed, uh, the, the, the fee transactions. Uh, and then I knew that this was, if there is a platform out there that is able to scale and then to scale to, uh, the masses and to the corporate and then look appealing to, to, um, the mainstream media, uh, I think it's EOS, um, just because of the fee transactions. Uh, the speed of, of, of the blockchain is able to, to, um, to deliver. So um, that's exactly what, what we needed. And I think um, that horse paid is in the right time at the right moment uh, in, in blockchain history to, to um, harvest, harvest the power of, of this new innovation. I think EOS is the perfect fit. No, that's great. I think uh, we really believe that uh, EOS, because of the way the technology is evolving, uh, 
uh, it can form the next generation black blockchain where most of the application will move towards it. And I'm glad that uh, you found it early. So let's go back to the token economics because I think that's the most interesting part about Horus Pay because you have been at the forefront of it by dis, uh, defining, I think, maybe the first uh, token, which is doing a staking. And then a lot of people are following. So I think now you have created a path for people. So let's talk about that staking. And let me again share uh, the screen uh, to when you introduced uh, this uh, eCash. So can you talk us through uh, what is this eCash and why do you need to create a new token? So, uh, we, so we have Horus, which is the access key to the platform. And um, it also has other other utilities. And then what we're missing, uh, the the missing component to the platform is the the cryptocurrency that would be a stable cryptocurrency on the EOS platform. So uh, since nobody else has done it, is is doing it, or know that I'm aware of, well, we said let's just uh, us take the initiative, and then um, create a stable coin that allows me to transfer value. Um, uh, from from one country to the other, uh, value to employees, uh, and be that crypto uh, currency on on the EOS that is a stable. Uh, so that will allow us um, uh, to, or, or clients to to make a payroll disbursement, and then um, make a payroll disbursement in seconds, and then um, not be worried about the volatility of the cryptocurrency. Uh, meaning that we don't want people to transfer Bitcoin and then as um, as a payment mechanism, as a um, payroll disbursement. And by the time the employees receive the, their, their Bitcoin, is 20% down. So we want to introduce some stability uh, because it's important for the use case that we're working on. Uh, so we, we thought that it was very uh, crucial to have a stable a stable coin on the on the EOS ecosystem that allows to do the payroll uh, without worrying about the volatility. No, I think it makes a lot of sense, uh, especially when you're talking about payroll, where people are uh, relying on it for their day-to-day -day expenses. Um, so it's a great idea, and I think uh, we are really excited about it. So let me ask you one question, which I think nobody uh, understands right now. So it, does it mean when you say it is a stable coin? So that means can it be used by any other uh, project, or this is only tied to Horus Pay? Uh, no, it, it is open. Uh, it is open source and it could be used to any other project. Uh, however, it is only minted by staking horse. Um, so the only way to get eCash is by uh, staking horse. Uh, however, anybody could use it. It is live on, on, the EOS, um, on the EOS blockchain. So any other project could adopt eCash. Um, All right. So if I, let's say, let me ask a hypothetical question. If somebody else says, or I love eCash and I want to uh, do the same model and I want to stake my tokens to generate eCash, uh, do you think technically it is possible? Um, technically it is possible. If, if it's a, a, a right partner, it is possible. Um, but uh, we, we want to maintain that um, exclusivity in, in, in that case for, for Horus um, because it's, it's is is all token so but i understand um if if there is a strong partner with a very strong use case um i might consider oh that's great no i think uh, this is great i think just having a eos cash because you said it is a stable coin and it will be at some point back to a stable currency uh, so that's itself is a uh, pretty exciting so i was just getting a little bit ex more excited that maybe it can be used um, uh, in various projects uh, but I think it's great, I think at least because you are going to be very much tied to the day-to-day -day pay payments to people. I think it's very important. So I did a walkthrough of like, you know, doing the whole space staking and claiming. So uh, what is uh, the reason that people have to claim it? Uh, is it a, like, you know, every week or maybe can they like claim after many weeks and they will still get the whole uh, e-cash reward or is it uh, just uh, the per week uh, kind of staking and claiming model? I love the question. That's a question that a lot of people have. Um, it is every week. And then we, we were thinking into doing weekly payouts because uh, depending on, on the company, some companies pay weekly, other companies pay bi-weekly. So uh, weekly is the, is the minimum time window for payroll. And that, that was the idea behind it uh, to provide liquidity to our, our, um, the, the, our clients and 
on the employees so that they can claim their, their tokens. So for now, um, you can claim weekly or you can let it stack and then claim once a month, once every two months. But we have an incentive now uh, that is a higher percentage on staking. Um, so I suggest that you start claiming your, your, your e-cash um, weekly or by weekly at least. Uh, and not let us talk too much because if we decide later down the road that we want to change that uh, percentage back to uh, the original um, uh, 0.1% uh, for um, holders or accounts um, over 100 um, horse stake, then you, you're going to miss because the system will calculate at the time that you're, that you're claiming the tokens, uh, the percentage, and then it'll... Um, downgrade you to the the the, the newest um, percentage. However, we, we're thinking into probably maintaining that higher uh, percentage um, indefinitely. So that's something that we're wow. discussing. We're looking into how much uh, eCash is being produced, uh, what is the inflation rate, um, how many uh, token holders are, are staking, and we're looking into all these factors because we w we also want to produce enough e cash to have a uh, a use case and 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 have tokens uh, circulating. So uh, we might consider keeping that a uh, higher percentage. Um, we're 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 discussing that and it looks it's looking really good. So um, so yeah, but I for now for the time being I recommend claiming it. That way, if some issues arrive arise, we can we can tackle them and uh, we can sort of troubleshoot what's happening. But the, the idea behind it was that use case for weekly payouts. No, that's great. I think it makes a lot of sense uh, because you're tying it to a real world use case of uh, paying uh, the actual uh, weekly payrolls. And so you think that uh, eCash right now uh, is in a shape when, when you launch this platform uh, with actual users, uh, do you think it will be recognized as a currency for payroll or do you think you still have to maybe create another system or other currencies to in the payroll system? So um, can you repeat the question to make sure I understand that I don't answer so, something else? Uh, so, let, so let me tell you like means what I, my understanding is. My understanding is the eCash can be used as actual payroll like you, where you pay people in eCash. Uh, while the company who is paying, they will be staking the Horus Pay token uh, to generate that eCash. Uh, and which was, I think, a great idea because it's really using the staking model uh, to the next level where you are, you, uh, you are really uh, assigning a role for staking, which is a real work people are doing and they are getting paid for it. And they, are, uh, they can be convinced that they will get paid because there is a stake which is smart contract based. Uh, so this is my understanding. Now... Right. What I'm trying to understand is, let's, let's say you're doing this e-cash as a real payments today, hypothetically. Uh, uh, do you think that is, uh, are the market is ready for it? Uh, or do you think people understand cryptocurrencies that they are willing to accept it uh, as a payment mode? You, you bet. That's a great, great question. Um, we, I, I live in the U.S. And then uh, for countries that have really good stable currencies, um, like in Europe, if you're under the euro, or if you're in Canada or in the U.S., you, you don't have too much to worry about. But there are other other countries that they're not as lucky as we are, and then they they have currencies that um, are volatile, that they have a lot of inflation, and then lose purchasing power, and they don't gain it back. It's not like Bitcoin that would go down twenty percent, but then it goes up again, and then you can sell, and then you recover your investment. Um, this other currency is they lose purchasing power, uh, meaning a, 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 a bottle of water is, is uh, 10 pesos and then tomorrow is 15 pesos and then two weeks uh, later is 20 pesos and then it continues um, going down and down that, that, that way. And then um, the employees, they don't get what they, what they work for. Um, so uh, I've seen in countries like Argentina, for example, that we're processing a monthly payroll. By the time that we're ready to pay the employees, uh, they're receiving way less than they should be receiving because of this inflation. So, um, so the idea behind eCash is that it will be a stable currency pegged to US dollar that will allow other companies to um, pay their employees um, and then not worry about that volatility factor. So, um, 
that way not only they get what they should uh, be paid, but they also have a strong currency that would hold those uh, those market fluctuations, um, not only in the crypto, but also on the fiat, because those happen on, on fiat where uh, these currencies are losing value day after day. Uh, so that's why um, so many people in South America, they're so interested in blockchain. And uh, there's a lot of people that would rather have their, their money in, 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 in crypto rather than in fiat on, on their, on their uh, currencies. So well, that's, a, that's a very interesting perspective, actually, uh, because we have seen in recent past, actually not long back, like we have already in there is a currently a lot of economic conditions like in many countries where currencies are just uh, losing value every day. Uh, so are you really um, seeing uh, like a demand from like for this kind of a product immediately? You see that can we see your products deployed and actual uh, Horus Pay based payroll systems in next uh, in very near future? Or do you think it's still in early days and a beta stage? Um, I think we we're early. There's no question about that. And there's no problem with being early. Um, my idea is doing the Tesla, the Tesla approach. What is the Tesla approach? So they, they do cars that are better, they, they're faster, they're um, energy efficient, but they also, you know, they, they're looking forward for the future. So they want to introduce self-driving cars and they introduce those cars out there. They put the technology on the cars and then they start pushing for adoption, right? When you have millions and millions of Teslas on the road, it, the adoption will happen because they have the tools um, um, they have the, the tools already uh, and is, is ready for the adoption. So that's, that's the same idea and the same approach that we're having with payroll. Uh, my idea is to provide the tools and start pushing for adoption. Um, we're, we will provide a, a platform that is cheaper, it is easier to use, it is um, a for, very affordable, uh, and then we, we want to put eCash on, on the pockets of everybody out there. So um, the idea is, for example, let's say let's 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 mention a really good use case. Uh, let's say that I'm a payroll specialist and I, and I make a mistake in one of my international payrolls, and then 1,000 employees are not going to get paid um, timely and accurate. So the solutions are, are not good. Um, employees will probably need to wait a week before they get paid um, because I need to correct the, the payroll. Uh, it needs to reprocess, and by the time that ACH transactions happen, uh, it'll take 48 hours to, to clear, and then people don't eat. So if, if I provide the tools where uh, I can make a payroll disbursement in seconds, um, those companies are not going to hesitate in using this tool because the tool is there for them to use. Mm -hmm. So um, once they use it and they see how efficient it is, they probably won't want to come back to, to processing payroll with fiat. They probably going to want to keep it uh, in, in, in seconds instead of waiting 48, uh, three, four days uh, for, for ACH transactions to clear when they can send value overseas in seconds. So um, the idea is, is setting those, the, put, putting the tools out there. Um, we, we are still going to maintain the current system, just like Tesla is out there on, on the roads sharing the roads with everybody else we want to maintain the current system so it will support fiat um, uh, or, or platform would support fiat disbursement where um, the payroll vendor provides fiat disbursement to their clients and they can use our platform to tra transfer those 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 um, encrypted files and then um, so we're maintaining the same system, but we're introducing a better tool that we think that people are going to start using it um, because it's, it's becoming a bill. It's becoming available now. No, I think that's a beautifully explained uh, thought because I think um, me coming from California, I see this every day, and I think we I have seen it explored that the way Tesla has a, a, a adoption has happened, and everybody was wondering like uh, who will really pay that much or who will really. Uh, use them, but you have given a very good analogy. I think it's it's very very important for us to build for future, and uh, it is uh, it's all about the thought. It's about changing the way people operate. Uh, so let's shift gears. I think definitely we are very excited about Horus Pay and uh, all the best for the future and in this area. And we will keep looking out for it. And uh, now let's shift gears and talk about EOS DevCon, which we believe you have been. Uh, working on 
and we are very excited about it. So let me quickly share. Um, so I think we talked about it and even on our channel, we introduced EOS DevCon uh, in Florida uh, in January. So I think, so what came uh, about? Like, how did you jump into this? Uh, because I, of course, you are uh, doing a lot of great innovation and you have a lot to share. So how did this EOS DevCon came around? So, um, so the EOS DevCon is, is a perfect sample of um, me and uh, another individual Individuals coming together and say, "Hey, if nobody's doing this, let's let's do it. Let's stop complaining." Uh, because we, I've been I've been in in a few in a few conferences around the world for EOS, and um, they're they're a lot about the block producers and block producers are amazing. They're doing a great job on on the on the blo on the uh, ecosystem, but we want to put the spotlight on on the um, on the DApps as well. So we want to provide a um, um, a conference that is that uh, that focus that will concentrate on the on the dabs, put the spotlight on the dabs, and uh, start talking about uh, what are what what are the dabs out there? What are they doing? Um, what's the ne the next move? What are the um, uh, the barriers that they need to overcome to be successful? And then they start bringing bringing all the people that these dabs need to network with um in in one place sort of like exchanges vcs um uh, all those people that everything needs to come together for adapt to be successful uh so based on my experience all the barriers that I, that i need to overcome as adapt i say let's let's create the physical environment for this dApps to be successful and and encourage the adoption for for the us blockchain so that's, that's the idea behind EOS DEFCON. Um, that's uh, another perfect sample where um, people are coming together and say, hey, let's stop complaining and start doing, uh, taking action. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's the idea behind it. I have a great partner, um, uh, Blue Jays from uh, the founder of EOS Go. Yes. Um, he's he's uh, working very hard with me to make this event successful. Yeah. No, I think it's great. And uh, to be frank, let me tell you in our channel and what I have been talking about, like, you know, focus on dApps, focus on progress. And uh, it's very close to my heart as well. And I'm go definitely going to participate. I talked to Blue, uh, Blue Jay as well. And we are promoting it. And I think everybody, please, if you can join it, if you have any ambitions of doing uh, uh, blockchain projects or starting on EOS, you should consider joining here because... Uh, uh, you, it is something which has not to be missed. Um, and most importantly, it's all about uh, getting people started. Uh, on the same lines, I think, so first of all, you, uh, if you are listening, by the way, we also do a podcast now. This also goes on uh, audio-only format. So the website is eosdevcon.io, and you can buy the tickets. Uh, and uh, we have a special promotion. So for IWAD is our promo code for investing with the difference partners and viewers. Uh, you can use that to get discounts on the tickets. So please go and buy them. Um, and I say, and uh, we really congratulate you, Jerry. And uh, I think Blue Jays, uh, both of you have done a great job putting this together uh, because we do need more and more of that. So on the same lines, I think we are also doing a conference in San Francisco on November 12th. Uh, we are doing scaling blockchain, trying to uh, bring more and more developers and investors to EOS and trying to showcase and get people started. And I hope that uh, people uh, come to these kind of events and start developing for EOS. Because what we need right now, we have a community which is uh, very strong. Uh, and EOS community is one of the, like, because I have been in crypto world, I think you have seen a lot before, that what, is, what makes EOS different is not only the technology part, but the community part. And the kind of people when we meet, we look at uh, the background of them. They are like not the, your typical speculators. They are really into it because of technology. They're building great products. And when you go to these events, you really understand that it is not a speculative coin. It is not a, something which uh, there are like one, 2,000 coins out there on crypto market. Um, what EOS, EOS is building, I think uh, you really realize when you join these uh, conferences and events. So let me quickly uh, share once again for the viewers. So I think we have been talking about this. So do come to, uh, if you're coming for EOS Hackathon in San Francisco on November, uh, November 10th and 11th, which is right after that. So you will not uh, be disappointed. You will have a lot of community members here. Uh, if you're not able to participate in Hackathon, but you just want to drop in, do come in here. 
and uh, these tickets are also on sale uh, right away and uh, we have been sharing the coupon codes i will put it uh, in the video uh, and the podcast so coming back to uh, um, the the devcon itself uh, jerev so uh, what uh, kind of like uh, what uh, level of uh, developers do you think like for example for scaling blockchain we are saying if you have not done any development you can still come and learn um, so for devcon do you have any words for people um, like what should they expect uh, beyond of course meeting some great community members uh, learning about you know, what is happening in eos world um, but do you think uh, 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 for a developer what what else uh, they can expect here so we 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 partner up with um oci object computer and they they're the ones that they were um contracted by eos io for um doing a lot of the heavy lifting coding on the eos blockchain so they're they're, they're going to be um um helping us with the the workshops and then uh, there there are different levels for the block the the workshops that we're going to have for for developers um entry level and 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 an advanced level we also want to put something together uh for for airdrops if you want to airdrop uh on EOS if you want to create a token uh airdrop that token or have a like a claiming system uh how to do it what to do we want to also have that set up on on and and teach people how to how to do um things like this on on EOS so um so yeah that's no, that's very exciting that's really... i mean uh, i think uh, this looks like uh, going to be a complete uh, package where people can come and really uh, maybe do, uh, start developing and uh, understand from end to end how to really deliver on this blockchain project so i'm i'm glad i think um, all the best once again and i'm not going to miss it i think i already talked to blue jays a few days back and i said okay i need to be there so uh, <laughs> a great time i think we have chosen a great spot in florida its weather is going to be good in january the the weather is going to be amazing and then uh we have activities that are outdoors activities uh to so you can enjoy the weather in 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 winter florida is is the best is the place to be and it's it's a week you know full of fun there's going to be uh the workshop there's also um other tech conference the sign up conference the uh, synapse that is happening in in the amelie arena in in tampa right after or or blockchain events uh so that that's going to be a really a really good week to be to be in florida to meet oh, new great. people and uh and make the right connections. Oh that's great. I think uh, uh it's going to be wonderful and I I'm going to, I'm looking forward to that. Um so I think one, finally I uh, you are in London I believe so the uh, joining the hackathon so how is the energy? The energy here is very is is very active. There's uh there's uh, people coming together on the Telegram groups uh to do meetups to do sightseeing together so i look forward uh it's early in the morning now so i look forward to have a good breakfast and and get ready to to meet meet some people and uh and uh do some done some good networking and and then um probably uh go sightseeing with some of the EOS community uh oh, members out there so yeah no that's great i think we all have huge expectations uh, from this uh, london hackathon every hackathon is actually expanding as eos is going around uh, we heard about going from hong kong to sydney and now london and uh, i think uh, we and with the all the expectation around uh, dan larimer and brendan bloomer being there um, so we do hope that uh, we get some great news from there you bet we we'll hope so too if no we we'll, we'll make it we we'll make the good news oh that's that, that's <laughs> great and i think uh, already we are seeing the market is reacting very positively so eos is doing pretty well today um so we hope that uh, you bring us more good news and all investors are happy and we can bring the bull market again you bet you bet <laughs> <laughs> all right i think uh, jerep so what's the final comments uh, you have for our viewers and anything you would like to share which uh, we didn't cover please feel free and first of all thanks a lot for coming down i think you are been one of the leading uh, de- uh, decentralized application on eos and we really like what you're doing thank you so much thank thank you so much for having me uh it is it is a pleasure to be on, on the show on the channel and then uh, I'm, re- i'm very happy to see the 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 whole industry maturing 
and um, bringing good projects with, with good use case. All right. Thank you and all the best for all the work you're doing and all the effort you're putting in uh, the CEOs community. Um, and we need more people like you who are so passionate about EOS. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.